Hello everybody, this is Hashio. Welcome to my new tutorial series. And this couple of tutorials I'm trying to introduce you to Orsina engine, <laughs> which is a new, relatively new 3D game engine built on top of the Panda 3D, and which built with C++. So it's fairly fast and reliable engine. And uh, somehow have very good documentation, but not so many good um, tutorial. So if you go to orsinaengine.org, you can find documents, uh, documentation, and uh, some useful information. You go to documentation, you will have guides on installation, and entity basics, and uh, this kind of stuff. But the most important thing is API reference, which is very well documented, in fact. And um, basically, everything I'm telling you. Um, somehow I found it there not everything but most of the things but you need to know it's there but you need to play with it and learn as you go and the only problem with nursing engine is that there is not much of a contribution from programmers and there is not much of games or application built with this very good engine which, which is kind of unfortunate um, <clears throat> but anyway uh, just keep in your mind that uh, you can come to orsinaengine.org and uh, use the uh, API reference and you can just change it to dark and light which is nice light and dark hmm. all right anyway so the first thing you need to install the orsina engine pip3 install orsina i am in uh, <coughs> uh, i'm in um, linux so I'm going to use pip3 install Orsina. Why I'm not typing? Okay, pip3 install Orsina. So I already have it. Want to install it again for me? If you are in Windows, just use uh, uh, pipe install Orsina. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm not sure how you're going to do it in Mac. And uh, all right, so here I'm going to import everything from Orsina using wildcard from from Orsina. Import everything. Why am not you? Okay, let's create a file. I forgot to create a file. Touch Orsina. Let's call it Orsina test or test. Mm, yeah, test Orsina. That's pi. And here from Orsina import everything. And um, after we need to uh, we need to create an instance from Orsina class. So app equal Orsina. And the only thing we need to do we need to run the app. If name equal equal main. then app that run and this give us the screen oh sorry 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 python tree and app uh, python tree and test all right now we have the basically we have the word this is screen and uh, you have this uh, crazy FPS here and the exit button. So as you see, unlike the Pi game, that we, you need to create a game loop and take care of the uh, events loop and take care of the exit button and those kind of stuff. Here everything is much more compact and f faster. All right. So for now, let's try to create. Um, some object but before the object let's take care of some properties on your on our window so I'm going to comment here say window settings and uh, most important is our size of the window window that size will be a tuple with width and height we go for 800 to 600 and now when we run the code we will have a smaller window but those uh, stuff are gone uh, the exit button frame per second is gone 
but uh, so we need to take care of them manually. I'm going to use window.title equal let's say or see now test and uh, window dot borderless equal false and this could give a small little nice window with title and exit button and a good, very good thing about our scene is you can resize the window and everything will, be, will resize with it so you don't stuck with a predefined windows some some sort of static everything is kind of dynamic here and that's very good and let's go for our object everything in our scene is entity from the objects and the screen from the screen itself and from the camera the world and the environment everything and we are going to create a cube equal entity and each entity have uh, yeah, many different uh, properties and we start with model and uh, for s knowing the different uh, elements of the entity you can use the same API reference that I showed you so model equal cube the color equal color dot orange of course you can use the RGB which I tell you later on and uh, the scale will be X and Y and Z scale equal a tuple of 1111 one, one, one. and uh, let's see what we have here we have small box here which is actually a cube and <clears throat> And let's move the cube. So key binding is very easy in Orsina. Let's, let's say, let's say movement. Mm, and uh, like also like the the Pi game, we need to have update. Of, of course, in every game engine, you need to update your object and uh, the logic and the rendering. So here. Uh, because we don't have the game loop and everything is happening with app.run we just create a function and uh, the application just referring it itself so define update the only thing you need to do and for now pass and i'm going to create another function defined movement and uh, movement will be movement will be some if statement so if held keys which is the reference for the keys if <coughs> held keys will be list of the key name here I'm going to use left arrow then cube.x minus equal 0 0.01 and we are going to add this to our update function and when we run the code we can move the object and then let's make it for also for the right side i'm going to copy this line and let's make a variable for speed speed equal 0.0 one so here we don't need to add the number speed so oh where it's gone where is the right side I forgot to change it to plus right side plus equal speed hello application start what's going on left arrow and here should be right, right arrow. All right, right and left. And you see, when we move the past the center of the window, the start to be rotated. Maybe you can't see it very good now. Then now I'm going to use texture here. Texture equal Q. 
it's imprinting the texture on top of the objects. There are many textures that you can find with, uh, in the API reference. And here, 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 where is my texture? Where is my texture? No, it's not cube. Sorry, this should be. Uh, you can use brick, as I remember. And you can use. Uh, it was something like grass, I guess. Nope. What about circle? All right. Oh, the circle is better. We can see the other angles. So if you see, uh, if you notice, uh, of course you can notice when I move, uh, when I pass the uh, the center of the screen, start to rotate. But this is not the rotation of the uh, the object. It's uh, changing the angle of the object to, uh, uh, relative to our camera because now the camera is in zero zero very cool thing we can have with Orsina we can have the camera object so here I'm going to comment the camera object and will be we have camera it's equal orthographic so ortho uh, orthographic equal true and we can have camera editor before we run the game so editor camera function and this will give you total control over your camera with right click you can move your object in fact you are moving your camera not the object itself um, now let's Take care of the rest of the movement. I'm going to just copy this and here, and the x will be y, and the left arrow will be up, right arrow will be down. Um, actually, the left this should be down, and this should be up, I think. Yep, right and left, up and down, and we have camera. And uh, the Orsina is using the Cartesian, Cartesian uh, coordinates, which the center of the screen is zero, 00, not like the uh, Pi game, which uh, zero, 00 is top left. So just remember that. What else we can do? Mm, we can use also delta time. Then let's add the rotation to our cube. When we move to the left, we want the cube to uh, rotate. So here we have cube dot rotation on y axis plus equal time dot delta time multiply by 500 or um 200 maybe 500 is too much and i'm going to copy this line and add it here also and that plus plus should be my equal equal plus equal and here will be minus equal so let's see what's the effect mm, i want to i want to have more rotation then i'm going to add here make it 500 nice we're up and down we don't need rotation now uh, let's also add the depth so here depth will be copy this line if we press W cube dot Z minus equal speed and if we 
press S. Cube.z plus equal speed. So will give us the impression of depth. Depth movement. So here we are moving left and right and what happened? Um, Alright, sorry here I made a typo. Should be Z. And W is coming toward us and S moving. So something like this and we can create 3D movements. It's going far. And the, uh, which is very smooth, in my opinion. All right. Um, what else we can do here? Oh, the, the one thing is uh, I couldn't find the reference for this uh, keys here. So uh, you can use the find get key to get the reference for your key everything about the for the key bindings happening with a pair of uh, key values as a dictionary so for key value in held held keys that items um, if value is not equal to zero so it means like something pressed then um, print prints the key sorry print key value so left oh I forgot to add it to our update here and get key so here left and right arrow up and down and every key you press you will have it here so key is the key itself and the value is one or zero so if the value is zero nothing happened and value is one is something gonna happen or it means like you press the key um, so this is very basic of the engine um, also uh, you can build your game structure it's class based some some people like it some people don't mostly I use classes in my games uh, with spy game I think it's uh, give you better control over all the code will be cleaner and uh, so that would be all for this uh, part uh, I'll try to come up with uh, some ideas and find some stuff for the, the next part and see how far we can go and if we can build something very simple game like a Pong or Tic Tac Toe or something or maybe some space shooting and I don't know so uh, that would be all for this part if you like my videos tutorials please subscribe to my channel and I see you guys in next video